नमस्कार ओम साई राम दोस्तों मैं सुजय खंडेलवाल हर थर्सडे की तरह इस थर्सडे भी लेकर आया हूं आपके सामने एक भक्त को हम यहां पर ये शूटिंग कर रहे हैं जूम पर आ, क्योंकि हमारे साथ जो भक्त जुड़ी हैं वो है बैंगलोर से और उनका नाम है रेणुका दी तो चलिए हम उनका स्वागत करेंगे ओम साई राम रेणुका जी ओम साई राम सर जी रेणुका जी आपका स्वागत है यहाँ पर एंड हम आपसे अब जानना चाहेंगे कि नो बाबा को आप कब से जानती है कैसे जानती है एंड किस प्रकार उनके ऊपर में आपकी भक्ति और विश्वास जगा my mother is a uh, devotee of sai baba from since uh, 60 years uh, while she was studying medicine uh, then uh, uh, after that like uh, when i was a kid like we had a small photo of baba in our uh, uh, devghar but uh, yeah as usual like uh, roz ki puja i used to do uh, baba's photo also i used to do the puja but uh, i was not like uh, a staunch devotee of baba uh, then when uh, while i was a kid but though my mother was a devotee she also didn't much stress upon uh, like uh, going into baba's uh, devotion and all but then what happened like uh, after uh, after my uh, marriage so after my marriage uh, we had been to mableshwar so on the way to mableshwar we uh, visited uh, shirdi so then i prayed to baba that uh, like uh, to uh, bless me with a son uh, so uh, as soon as possible so since i i used to love kids a lot so then after that like uh, my husband uh, it was, this was in april uh, 2000 april 2001 so then after uh, like uh, in june i conceived just two months uh, later after returning from shirdi to bangalore i uh, conceived and then uh, i was blessed with a son in uh, march 2002 so i had prayed to baba and i had also prayed uh, to lord shiva and i had done the sola somvar uh, puja and i uh, i had prayed that i will name my son by the name of lord shiva uh, if i uh, have a uh, son so then uh, i had my son i named him pranil which means uh, prasannanjaneya and nilakanta together it means pranil so p r a n p e l so uh, i named him by the name of shiva and i know like baba is a uh, like a form of uh, lord shiva himself so uh, then uh, i went to shirdi for and i got my son's uh, mundan uh, done there in shirdi and uh, that was the second time i visited uh, baba and uh, that uh, like that was a kind of start of my belief towards baba that i had prayed for my for a son and i did uh, get that blessing from him yeah it started uh, that way so dekhe baba ki itni kripa and uh, you know uh, renuka ji ne jo baba se pray kiya tha and shiv ji se pray kiya tha inki uh, us tarike se baba ne suni and uh, fir inhe एक पुत्र की प्राप्ति हुई एंड जिसकी वजह से इनका बाबा के ऊपर में बहुत विश्वास जगा पीछे हमें बाबा की इतनी सुंदर मूर्ति दिख रही है रेणुका जी के मंदिर में ब्यूटीफुल सो so, रेणुका जी अब बताएं आप भक्तों को टूअर्ड्स योर ऑनवर्ड जर्नी नो बाबा की तरफ में एंड आपने क्या लीलाएं अपने जीवन में महसूस Yeah so after that uh, in 2003 I had to join my uh, master's course uh, mtech in uh, Vishweshwarya University in Belgaum so uh, my son was just uh, a year and a half uh, uh, old uh, uh, and I had to uh, go uh, for my masters uh, so I had to leave him with my mother in Darwad which is uh, about an hour journey from uh, Belgaum where I had to study so every weekend i used to visit my uh, son so i have uh, this was when i was leaving my my dad uh, was uh, driving the car he we went to the sai temple and he was in the car and uh, it was time for the bus so i just got down from the car and i 
uh, I went to the uh, temple and it was early morning. So no one was there in the temple. It was around like 5.45 or 6 a.m. So uh, there was no one in the temple and the Bhatji who used to do uh, puja there, uh, that Sai temple uh, is a kind of special because uh, the uh, Bhatji's father had a dream and Baba told him that I am coming here uh, to, to your house and in front of your house uh, you have to have my uh, temple there and uh, so that people can uh, worship me there. So that uh, Bhatji's father had that dream. So uh, he is no more now and uh, his son uh, like uh, was sitting inside the temple uh, and he was studying so uh, for his exams. He was busy uh, writing something and no one was there in the temple. I just went inside the temple, I prayed to Baba and I said, I am like my son, my son is here, I will be staying alone in Belgaum. Uh, I had taken a house for rent. And I, my husband is in Bangalore and my son will be with my mother in Darwa and I was to uh, stay there in Belkam alone and uh, study uh, for my masters. So I say, I told Baba, please take care of my son. Uh, he's too uh, like small, he's one and a half. I, every weekend I will be visiting him and also please help me to overcome my emotional stress and then concentrate and focus on my studies. I prayed that and I kneeled down and by the time I was getting up, there was a hand behind me which like uh, there was a photo in that hand and I, I was in such a hurry that I was getting up and I just picked the photo from that hand and then did Namaskar and I turned back. Once I turned back, I see no one there and I have that photo uh, in my hand which is uh, such a uh, nice photo of uh, Shirdi Sai Baba and it is written Sai Samstan Shirdi on that. So and then I asked that uh, Bhatji uh, son who was writing, uh, uh, who was studying there, he said, ma'am, there is, uh, who gave me this photo I asked. So he said, ma'am, uh, still like I have goosebumps when I say this. I, he told me, ma'am, I am writing here, you came down, you kneel down before Baba and there is no one, absolutely no one who entered the temple uh, before, after you. So, and before you also, it was only me studying here. Then I said, I didn't, I had no words. I simply like, uh, it was like Baba told me that I am coming with you. Don't worry. I will be there with you. You are not alone in Belga. So, yeah, this was, this uh, is one like thing which I can never, never, never uh, forget in my life. Sairam, Sairam, Sairam. I have that photograph in my, uh, like all my academic records file. It is still there. Yeah, so we'll show that photo I mean. to the viewers here. And uh, what an amazing experience. I mean, uh, I'm getting goosebumps. It's like, you know, um, Baba himself had come yeah. and blessed you yeah. and assured you that he is going to take care of your son while you are away. So, yes. Bhakta, it's like that for a mother, you know, for your child, who is the love and love, और उससे बढ़कर जो होता है वो उसके उसके लिए जो चिंता रहती है वो माँ की चिंता वो ममता से जो उमड़ी हुई चिंता रहती है उसका कोई मोल नहीं है वो हम कई बार नो कहते हैं कि ये थोड़ी नो कई मतलब कुछ ज़्यादा जो पोजेसिव हो जाती है माये उनके लिए हम कई बार लोग कहते हैं ये थोड़ा सा पागल है कुछ ज़्यादा ही करती है ये है वो है बट वो ममता है माँ की जिसे बच्चों के ऊपर में रहती है और इन्हें हर हफ्ते इतना दूर रहकर और वो भी बीस साल के बच्चे के साथ में तो देखिए बाबा की ब्लेसिंग जी है कि वो वहाँ पर आए मंदिर में और उन्होंने अपने हाथों से बाबा की फोटो दी इन्हें और ब्लेसिंग्स दी और अश्वरिंस दिया तो रेणुका जी और आप क्या शेयर करना चाहेंगे अपने एक्सपीरियंस या आई वाज अगेन लीविंग माय सन फॉर डूइंग माय मास्टर्स इन द यूएस सो आई वाज लीविंग टू द यूएस आई वाज नॉट रेडी टू गो बट माय हस्बैंड सेड यू हैव वर्क्ड अ लॉट यू हैव स्टडीड यू हैव गोट 99.9 परसेंट इन द जीआरए एंड वन ऑफ द टॉप यूनिवर्सिटीज यू हैव गोट द एडमिशन व्हिच इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट सो यू डोंट स्टेप बैक नाउ जस्ट बिकॉज़ ऑफ योर इमोशनल थिंग्स and uh, yeah it was very hard uh, for me eight, uh, leaving a eight month old baby and uh, going to the us but then also like baba i used to every day i used to do baba puja and that gave me a lot of strength uh, mental strength and uh, 
to study and uh, focus on my studies and after that i returned to india and after uh, uh, we returned to india my husband was transferred to pune so we went to pune and then shirdi i was close to shirdi so we used to open shirdi open and uh, and uh, i used to uh, go to leave my son to school so on the way to the school there was a uh, sai baba small sai baba temple near the railway station in kadki uh, in pune so i we used to pray there and then go every day i used to pray there with my son and then leave him to school and uh, come back so it was like baba was uh, near us and uh, after that i got an opportunity for the phd uh, i went uh, uh, to do my phd my son was now 14 year old so he was back here in india and then later i called him also and uh, both of us were staying in uh, uh, in the us so uh, there uh, it was only me my son and my baba i used to like i had carried a murti of baba and i used to like uh, do uh, aarti and puja every day uh, and in 2019 i graduated in december and january this covid 19 started and uh, it was like a heap of uh, dead bodies everywhere i uh, started getting the next day itself i started getting breathless and it was so uh, heavy uh, that i i used to sit outside for taking a gasp of breath i couldn't sit inside the house even though the ac was on and i used to feel completely breathless and uh, one more thing uh, started after a week i had so much burning in my eyes that uh, almost my both of my eyes are lit in fire like that i used to feel that kind of burning so i prayed baba and uh, i prayed baba so much uh, that day and i just like uh, i told baba that i cannot i'm not able to bear this burning sensation it feels like my eyes are put in a complete uh, kind of uh, 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 harsh fire and uh, i can't bear this burning baba please take away if i like uh, that story is there where baba like puts a stick uh, on the floor like he hits the stick and the fire comes down so i told baba you somehow like do that and just like take away this burning from me that night when i slept i don't know what happened i ha- i had like the two hands of baba uh, touching my both eyes and then uh, baba took the stick and like hit, hit it so hard on the floor and suddenly in the morning there is no burning there is even more coolness like you have put some cold cucumber or something on my eyes and i was out of that i didn't have any that breathlessness i was up i felt i was about to die तो देखिए भक्तों कोविड की तो बहुत सारी कहानियां हम सब सब ने ना सुनी है हमारे घरों में हमारे खुद के साथ हुई है या फिर हमारे आसपास तो हुई ही है और वो दहशत का माहौल जबकि नो लोग कीड़े मकौड़ों की तरह जैसे कि रेणुका जी ने बताया कि मर रहे थे एंड हॉस्पिटल में जाने में भी डर लगता था और कहाँ वो इतनी तकलीफ इतनी नो प्रॉब्लम्स के थ्रू जब जा रही थी तो देखिए बाबा ने कैसे एक ही रात में और उनको स्वप्न में आकर और उनकी सारी प्रॉब्लम्स को हर लिया तो रेणुका जी और बताइए भक्तों को कि आपने और क्या एक्सपीरियंसेस अपने सो आफ्टर गेटिंग द वर्क ऑथराइजेशन यू जस्ट हैव थ्री मंथ्स विद इन विच यू हैव टू टेक अप अ जॉब इन द यूएस और रिटर्न बैक टू इंडिया so uh, it was almost two and a half months since it was covid time all the universities were closed and uh, i was applying for academic positions the post doc positions so since the universities were not working and uh, you were not getting any replies for any of your uh, applications and everything so it was a complete halt and i didn't know what to do uh, uh, my son had already got the admission in the university there he wanted to study and i told baba it is only like one month left or uh, 20 days left and uh, i don't know baba you only have to do something like uh, i don't know i have left all the responsibility on your shoulders and i just uh, like that uh, that night uh, i slept and uh, morning uh, I, my advisor called me and i told him like i uh, i have been interviewed and uh, they are ready to take me but they are not sending me the offer letter for this was for another position 
uh, which I had applied. So they, I said like that is the only hope uh, I have uh, and uh, no more applications I am sending because uh, I am not getting any replies, universities are closed. Then he uh, told me to contact that person who had, uh, professor who had interviewed me and straight away write the mail that uh, write about your capability and everything and your uh, condition like uh, you have to uh, leave the country within 20 days and you have uh, your son with you as uh, responsibility and you cannot maintain yourself without uh, without a job uh, there since you are already graduated and uh, you don't have a job. So uh, two months somehow my husband had sent the money but then I had to like uh, uh, take up a job now. It was uh, just that uh, important. So he, I wrote that and then uh, the professor replied back with a problem which I had to uh, solve it and send it within uh, 2 p.m. that day. So morning 9 a.m. he sent the problem, he sent four questions on that, he sent me the cancer data set and asked me to uh, solve those uh, questions which he had on the cancer uh, data set uh, output I had to show. And I didn't even know how to run the software. He sent me the link. He asked me to download the software and run it and uh, give the input data and give me the output within 2 p.m. And if I do so, he said, I am going to offer you the job right away or else like I am really uh, helpless. That's what he said. Then I said, okay, so I took Baba's name and I said, yes, I am going to do this. So then I downloaded the software, I, I ran everything, I got the results and uh, so by 2 p.m. I was able to submit it and then uh, he was so happy that he sent me the offer letter the very next day. So after that uh, he said I am happy and then he said you should be receiving the offer letter and then again a week passed and uh, more than a week like almost it was two weeks coming to an end and it was just six days left now to, for me to uh, leave uh, the U.S. So I uh, again like uh, pray to Baba why this is like uh, getting delayed and so much of uh, tension and everything. That night I completely, uh, my eyes were wet and with wet eyes only I slept. I slept and I, uh, at about 3 am uh, I think it was like uh, half uh, consciousness and half sleep I was and completely I had a dream that uh, I was offered, the, I was seeing myself signing the offer letter and taking the offer letter from the person uh, from the university and then uh, they congratulated me and after that uh, I had the flight ready uh, and the flight was uh, being, uh, the pilot uh, himself was the person who offered me the job, the professor was the pilot and he said, I asked him like, there is no pilot in the plane, why did you, why are you driving this? So uh, he said, no, uh, why are you flying this? So uh, he said, uh, no, there was no one. So I only came to pick you up. So then he uh, flew the plane and then uh, I could see the, I have never seen that university, Emory University in Atlanta that complete university I was able to see from the flight and the flight landed. Flight landed and there was a lady standing there and then I don't know her but she said like she was so, uh, she uh, recognized me, she uh, even with my name and then she shook hands and then uh, told me welcome to our research group and we do this and all everything she told me. And I open my eyes and I'm still here. I don't know who that lady is and I don't know everything like was like. And then uh, that day itself, I received the offer letter by mail and Baba had showed me that uh, all it is on the way, like uh, everything is on the way. But still, I couldn't uh, uh, correlate that lady coming and uh, shaking me hands. And after I went and joined the Emory University, what I uh, see is that professor had a wife who was also a part of the research group and who was the same lady who I saw in the dream and who had shook hands and she, her name is Swati and uh, yeah I, I was able to and the university as it is like when I saw it from the flight like uh, when I went to the university it is the same university which I like uh, the everything was same like I had never seen that but the Baba showed me uh, the university just before I went to the university. Bhakto, see, Renuka experiences, Baba, in my dreams, there are no 
मैं गलत नहीं बोलता उसको भक्तों में आपको बताऊं कि रेणुका जी से मेरी कैसे मुलाकात हुई पहली मुलाकात पिछली ही साल कुछ छः महीने हुए होंगे छः भी नहीं उससे भी कम नवंबर में साई संगम में हुई थी साई संगम क्या है मैं आपको एक बार बता दूं जिन्हें नहीं पता साई संगम हम सभी साई भक्तों का एक मिलन शेडी में जो कि देश और विदेश से आते हैं एंड वहाँ पर आ, हम सब बाबा की नो शेडी में मज़े करते हैं मज़े क्या मतलब भजन करते हैं नगर संकीर्तन करते हैं पालकी निकालते हैं और इतना सारा साई मय समय बिताते हैं एक साथ तो ये नवंबर एंड अप्रैल दो बार होता है अगर आप नो इसमें शामिल होना चाहते हैं तो प्लीज़ मुझे व्हाट्सएप कीजिएगा मैं आपको डेफिनेटली इसकी डिटेल्स दूंगा ये निशुल्क है बस आपको आने जाने का एंड वहाँ रहने का अपना बंदोबस्त करना है बाकी प्रोग्राम सब निशुल्क है रेणुका जी के इतने सारे एक्सपीरियंसेस हैं इतने सारे जिन्हें सुनकर बहुत ही अच्छा लगा एंड इस पर आ, मुझे वो बाबा का भजन याद आ गया <coughs> जो आता है इस तरीके से तुम तो यही कहीं बाबा मेरे आस पास हो आते नजर मगर तुम मेरे आस पास हो जय शायद सो जस सी बाबा हाज बीन होल्डिंग रेणुका जी सिंस हर चाइल्ड हुड एंड टिल टुडे एंड सो मेनी सो मेनी ब्लेसिंग्स शी इज गॉट इन अ लाइफ टाइम सो वी आर रनिंग शॉर्ट ऑफ टाइम तो आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक ऑल यू व्यूअर्स योर एंड आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक रेणुका जी फॉर टेकिंग आवर टाइम एंड शेयरिंग हर एक्सपीरियंसिस सो मेनी and uh, for this beautiful uh, you know uh, darshan of baba just right behind her thank you so much yeah i can only say dasagano kya kahe ab kya bolu thak gayi meri rasna so your tongue never gets tired of uh, singing in leelas <laughs> absolutely absolutely goes without saying so thank you thank you renko okay. oh. yeah okay.